Sometimes it seems there's no explanation. There was no family history of premature births, no issues with prenatal care, when Robin Mock's granddaughter, Finley Kate, arrived four and a half months early, weighing barely more than a pound. She really wasn't expected to live. This was just a rare occurrence, something that no one could have controlled. Finley Kate survived, but the rate of premature births in the United States has been on the rise for the past five years. Let's explore the reasons why. To get a more accurate picture of the problem, medical experts recently adjusted the way they determine if a birth is premature. That's part of the reason why the rate has been climbing. If a mother delivers after less than 37 weeks of pregnancy, the child is considered a preemie. Danielle Brown with the March of Dimes tells us there are areas of the United States with maternity care deserts. And so that causes women to have to travel, you know, miles to get uh, the simple prenatal care that they need. Medical experts believe stress from racial disparities play a role. The rate of premature births among African-American women is especially high. Women of color, particularly black women, have um, lived experiences where they did not receive respectful care. They can fracture the um, open relationship that you need to have with your provider. The March of Dimes has programs to combat disparities. Others combine prenatal care with education. That's what's happening at the O'Brien Medical Clinic in Lawrenceville, where Robin Mark works. Her granddaughter, Finley Kate, is now four. We were told she would never walk, and she's walking. She's learning to talk. Medical experts are hoping for another miracle that will start a downward trend in the rate of premature births.